After his recent win over Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia became one of the most beloved athletes in the world. But this recent interview with Patrick Bet David will sort of put a stop to that and show that Ryan Garcia is one of the most despicable human beings to date. For a little bit of context, while preparing for his fight with Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia began to engage in some really strange antics. On March 3rd, this bizarre message began to appear all across Ryan's social media pages. Now, the message would state that Ryan Garcia was murdered and kidnapped, and he won't be coming back, and they finally got him. Now, the speculations that Ryan was somehow murdered at 4 a.m. by some special ninjas was quickly squashed when his own coach responded back to a fan and said that Ryan was just trolling, but he was trolling in the wrong way. After the fake and death thing didn't work, maybe by a clerical error because Ryan didn't let his own coach know that he was going to be trolling, Ryan Garcia then pivoted to some really bizarre stuff, bruh. See, Ryan Garcia began to come on social media and make claims that he was kidnapped and taken to the woods of Bohemian Grove and he watched kids get graped. Just check it out. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? Bro, they fucking took me to the fuck woods, bro, and they fucking tied. I'm not joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. Who? Bro, you, know you, you know you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You, you know the path you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you. You have proof of these things? On, you have proof of this on your phone? Yes, of course I do. This was a really big deal. This made CNN and Fox News, for God's sake. Andrew Tate called an emergency meeting on Twitter space to hear Ryan's stories of being kidnapped and watching kids get graped at the Bohemian Grove. Now, here's the thing, right? Some people were encouraging this, like all the grifters whose social media presence and monetization requires and depends on these like baseless conspiracy theories being peddled. Oh, they were all for Ryan, right? But smart people like Mike Milicek was like, yo, can y'all stop condoning this and like encouraging this behavior? Like Ryan Garcia is actually mentally ill. Yo, Ryan, what's up, man? Hey, bro, listen. I haven't please talked to you. Me, I don't know what's I, going on with you, but bro, you you need to you need to talk to your people, bro. You bro, really all, you really why need do to you talk think to your people. Also, wait, why do you think they're all backing me up? Because I've only been showing them the truth, bro, bro, bro. Your your actual people, bro. Your they family all love are me, not, bro. They see you, miracles, you, you, bro. You can't, bro. You can't. Ryan, listen to me. Listen to me. Why do you, you know me. I've talked to you about mental health before. But I've you talked have about no balls, bro. These things are happening to little kids. You're okay with little kids getting raped. You're okay with little kids getting raped. Is that what it is? At the back room at the Vatican, bro, talking about I was shit. there. I have proof, homie. Homie, the shit you're talking you about bro, is you're being crazy, perpetrated bro. Gotta, by people. You do not know what the gotta, fuck you're. There's, there's no way. Look at this. Is what happens. It's How not do you good. Mute, this? mute their Mac, man. You, you could just drop him, and if you want, you make click on his picture. Click on his picture and hit drop mute him. or drop. You see how angry the grifters got when Mike was trying to talk some sense into Ryan Garcia because they know like conspiracy theories like this being peddled, like on this large of a scale, is only good for them. And like essentially, Mike was trying to take food out of their mouths, right? But here's the thing: Mike gave Ryan Garcia the benefit of the doubt of saying, yo, Ryan Garcia is just having a mental episode. I don't think in Mike's wildest dreams, he would think that Ryan Garcia would go this far as using kids getting graped by the elites to sell a fight. Uh, like, even Mike probably thought, yo, that right there is out of the question. And even if it was, there's no possible way we would actually know for sure, right? Because using kids getting graped to sell a fight is one of those things you take to the grave with you. 
you certainly wouldn't go on a podcast, right, and admit to such. Well, fortunately for us, Ryan Garcia is dense enough to where he would go on a podcast and literally admit that he was trolling and this was all an act just to sell a fight. You trolled the entire world with the fight. <laughs> yeah, so was this, was this all an act? What yeah. part of it was real? Tell us about it. Uh, I mean... My, my cameraman chance, Ajay's there. Um, hey, we have it pre-recorded months ago. What did I say it was gonna happen? I said I'm about to make sure everybody thinks I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Why? Wow, it's just gonna be the called the Great Escape. Like I have it all documented. I was already planning, it, uh, you know, weeks and weeks and months behind. Uh, just, I don't know what made me come up with the idea. Honestly, I just uh, one day just decided just to go all in and just commit to a plan that I had and I was not going to budge for nobody. I didn't matter if I went on his podcast, anybody's podcast. I was acting like sporadic, like just like crazy. I would go on Your in, like, spaces, you were just like spaces. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do this with my nose. Like, <laughs> I no, saw and like, it's just a tick. I don't think people really understand the severity or the sinisterness, but what's going on here? Ryan Garcia is admitting, even laughing about the reality that he made all of this up, that he trolled the entire internet and made up these fantasies and stories of being kidnapped and being forced to watch kids get raped and sex trafficked to sell a fight. Like, like to sell a fight to make a couple extra million dollars, Ryan Garcia would openly exploit children. And he's laughing about it, as if this is some type of big, grand joke. Now... Like, they moved on because I feel like even they were laughing and then they got a little bit serious because they were like, wait, 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 wait. All right, uh, Ryan, let's be, like, let's be clear here, bro. Like, <laughs> let's just confirm what you're really saying here, bro. So then they began to go down a list of things that Ryan Garcia did or said to figure out what was real and what was not real. There's all these stories. Yeah, yeah, and every hot. day, it's something new right. that you were putting out there, yeah. okay? The... It, the part I want to know is which one of these are actual opinions that you have? How much of it was antics? Well, ask me. I mean, which one? Okay, so go through it. So Bohemian Grove. You said you have a video that you, you saw. Well, there's actually many stories on it. And um, there's actually a lot of people that have come forward to me. And, you know, there's actually really, there's actually really people in the front lines of all this. You know, I'm in contact with them. Um, At this moment, Ryan realizes, oh, maybe me admitting that I lied about kids getting raped to sell a fight isn't the best possible option here, bro. So Ryan pivots and does something really slick. Ryan says, oh, with Bohemian Grove, oh, I've been told a lot of things by people. Oh, I've gotten this from a lot of other people. See, he never really addresses the fact that he said that they kidnapped him took him to the wolves and watched him watch kids get great. They forced him to watch kids get great. You see, that's a lie, right? So Ryan pivots and switches the story up to, oh, I was told this by a lot of other people. His name is Jayco. I'm, I'm not going to say his last name, but basically he's a big advocate. He goes to Congress all the time to speak about child sex trafficking, and he could confirm all these things. A lot of these things, you know, I, I have experienced not only, like, spiritually in my spiritual senses before i even knew about the bohemian grove he's a testament to it i had a vision like in 2021 i seen like a beast coming out of san francisco and i seen the san francisco bridge and then i seen like the woods and i seen people doing weir really weird things and i went up to my friend i said hey man is there a place that people do weird things in the woods i'm just curious and he was like what, what are you talking about bohemian grove and I ryan's a piece of shit like ryan is a garbage human being you see, Ryan is deflecting, you know, by throwing all these random names and claiming that there's people around him who have seen Bohemian Grove and how he has had dreams before. No, 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 no. That, like, that right there is him distracting and deviating from the fact that he lied. See, Ryan Garcia told people that he was kidnapped by the elites, he was taken to the woods, he was tied up, and he was forced to watch kids get great. That was Ryan Garcia's story, and he went on at least a month of press pushing this and peddling this, right? So Ryan Garcia lied about being kidnapped. You know, Ryan Garcia exploited the stories of kids being sex trafficked to sell a fight. The worst part about this is that Ryan Garcia will credit God for giving him direction in trolling about kids being sex trafficked to sell a fight. Do you, do you feel like you 
you fooled everybody with this whole thing. So, and if yes, you think you can do that twice? Because the second time around, people are going to be, you can only do that one time. You can't do it twice. No, you can't. You think you can? No, for sure. I just got to, um, let me cook. You know what I mean? <laughs> like maybe I'll go into like the, I'm super disciplined narrative, or maybe, maybe I just act even crazier. Maybe I take it to a step too far. You know, maybe, or maybe I make it look like it's a step too far. Who knows? We Did never you, know. You ever read 40 Laws of Power? Uh-uh. I don't you ever know. read Art of Seduction? Mm -mm. 33 Strategies of War? Did you speak mm -hmm. to Jake Paul? To Did you talk to Connor before? To Did you watch something that inspired you to want to, you know, change your approach of marketing for a fight? What, what got you to say, I'm going to take a completely different approach with marketing this fight? Well, it was just basically, it kept on unraveling itself. Uh, if I'm being quite honest, it was more of a... It wasn't so much like my ideas, like more of just wisdom coming from God, and then I just made adjustments as I went. Like, uh, Make no mistake about it. I'm sure some of you guys are going to be in the chat sticking up for Ryan Garcia. Quite frankly, I don't care. Bro's a terrible human being. Bro is disgusting for doing this. But, hey, I'm sure he's going to get away with it because he's a celebrity. Now, most celebrities, bro, are disgusting. You know, egomaniacs, narcissists, you know. But I'm sure, you know, because he's a celebrity and, you know, he's a, a, a good boxer, he's going to get away with this, man. But... Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this? Is what Ryan Garcia did wrong, or is this just marking the fight and it's all in the name of entertainment? And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out how Shannon Sharp learned the hard way, why nobody likes Amanda Sills and invites her to their platform. Click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out what I'm talking about. I'm going to see you guys in this video, right? I'm out of here, folks. Peace.